Welcome to Hillary Topper On Air, the podcast you can't afford to miss. If you're an athlete, you're focused on your speed, your form, your mental game, and your goals for the next race. But have you thought about your nutrition and hydration? More so, do you know the importance of minerals like magnesium and how they can affect your overall sports performance? I'm Hillary Topper, and this is Hillary Topper On Air. Today, I'm speaking with Teresa Sequist, who is the CEO, Chief Endurance Officer, Science Advisor Endurance Liaison for Moxie Life. Welcome to the show, Teresa. Thanks for having me on, Hillary. Pleasure. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and about Moxie Life. Oh, boy. Uh, I guess my background, um, I have been an accomplished runner my le- in, during my past history, um, a All-American athlete at a Division Three university, University of Wisconsin-Whitewater. Wow. And, yeah, and uh, I've uh, completed six Ironmans. I've been in Kona. And um, my uh, position... With um, Albion Minerals, uh, whom I um, have been a technical educator for 13 years, um, led me to Moxie Life and um, and developing products, uh, specifically mineral and nutrition products that are higher in absorption than what we currently find in the marketplace. Um, the company has a um, technical term, gobs of uh, clinical research and um, information that uh, led me to, uh, I just needed to present these products to our endurance community because I, A, am an endurance athlete, and B, know that there is significant improvements in performance when you do increase your levels of all your micronutrients, but specifically um, a few that are um, our flagship product is Hydromag. So, and that's let, yeah. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about minerals and why they're so important. Oh, minerals! Um, you know, when I when I first started with Albion, uh, interesting enough, I. I I really wasn't uh, well versed on minerals and what they do in the system. I had uh, over my uh, professional career, I had been involved with um, uh, educating and selling nutrients overall into the food industry. And then when I, uh, when I moved to Albion minerals, the company, um, had had been in business um, for over 50 years at the time, and they they were not only philanthropic in their endeavors to um, to present high absorbing minerals, but they they had done all the due diligence and they had done all the the clinical research, and they um, they had over 180 clinical bioavailability studies to actually prove that their their forms of minerals were uh, higher in absorption. And um, they were presenting their products to South Africa, to uh, South America, helping enhance iron fortification in, you know, to in in milk products in in South Africa and fortifying sugar. because that seems to be, you know, one of the biggest staples uh, in South Africa, just because of the caloric density. Um, but at any rate, um, uh, knowing knowing what I learned from being with Albion, uh, we we can't exist as a society without um, mineral supplementation. Um, and having minerals in our diet, the the critical the critical aspects of our diet include minerals, vitamins, um, uh, carbohydrates, uh, fats, proteins, and water. So you have to have these uh, substances in your diet 
to survive. And if you have inadequate amounts of specifically minerals, which are uh, catalysts to other metabolic functions, you're somewhere in your system, it's going to take a south turn. So meaning you may have a disease state that, that forms from a specific mineral that you do not have adequate amounts of in your system. So can you explain more about macro and micronutrients, exactly what they are and how they correlate to sports performance? Absolutely. Um, so macro, macro minerals uh, are the minerals that you find in a majority of your body and in higher uh, percentages. So the macro minerals would be uh, calcium and magnesium. Um, micro minerals or what's known as trace minerals are uh, minerals that are required, however, at lesser percentages and they, they take care of smaller uh, enzymatic processes, but those smaller enzymatic processes are also a bigger piece to the, they're a smaller piece to the bigger puzzle. So um, the macros are um, the, the calcium and magnesium, as I had mentioned, and the micros are the, are the zinc and the, the, the chromiums, the vanadiums and iron. So, and as you know, iron is definitely something that we need for blood mm -hmm. and um, and oxygenation of our of our system. So let's talk. So that, for, yeah. So let's talk for a moment about magnesium. Let's let's kind of narrow in. How is this a game changer as a key metabolic mineral? Oh boy, um, I don't think we have enough time on your <laughs> on your uh, on this podcast to actually dive in. Um, however, the to simplify what magnesium does um, doesn't give it enough credit. Let's put it that way. To how magnesium helps our body function, um, we're as a society, we're so trained into understanding that, uh, let's say, um, you take your Advil and your Advil helps with uh, muscle soreness or alleviate a headache. Mm -hmm. um, if we take a look at minerals, you have to take a holistic approach to looking at minerals and specifically magnesium. Um, magnesium has so many variable touch points in the body from your from your brain from your organs to your muscles to your uh, skeletal system um, magnesium is critical uh, it works in co it works in conjunction with calcium to help build bones number one um, you need to have a strong skeletal structure to maintain what we do as endurance athletes uh, First and foremost, what magnesium helps solve problems with in terms of endurance athletes is it does, it does help reduce cramping because as I mentioned, it works with calcium. Uh, when you have an overabundance of calcium and not enough magnesium, uh, calcium contracts the muscles and magnesium relaxes the muscles. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, the way magnesium is stored in the body is it is stored in your muscles and your bones. So uh, when we don't get an adequate intake from our diet, which we can go on a separate pathway in another conversation or maybe this conversation, but when, when we don't get enough uh, magnesium in our diets, um, what happens in the body is we uh, start from we start stealing from uh, Peter to pay Paul, and what I mean by that is we start to steal from the um, the stores in our muscles to feed all the other organs which require magnesium. 
So if we're not continually depositing uh, magnesium into our bodies, we're com continually depleting it. Our bank account's going down in the magnesium stores. So uh, magnesium directly affects, obviously, your muscles. Um, it also uh, helps with your entire vascular system. Um, magnesium is known as a, uh, a natural vasodilator, and that term means uh, increasing the size and capacity of your, uh, your capillaries, your veins, and your arteries. And as I had mentioned earlier, um, magnesium helps muscles relax. Well, surrounding each capillary and vascular muscle, you, uh, you have fascia and you have small muscles that help contract those uh, vascular systems. So by adding more magnesium to your diet, uh, you're helping expand your whole vascular system and by expanding your whole vascular system, you're allowing more blood flow through to every extremity and organ of your body. Um, it works in conjunction with nitric oxide. Um, so it theoretically extends the shelf life, if you will, of NO in your system by means of helping additional blood flow through your vascular system. Um, so, Okay. Well, thank you for that. Um, before we move on, I need to just uh, thank our sponsors. Please support our sponsors and tell them that you heard about them on Hillary Topper on Air. Special thanks to the Russo Law Group, MedPro, Strain Point, and Fortune on Fine Jewelry. Now back to you, Teresa. How much magnesium do you need in order to prevent or alleviate muscle cramping? Oh, that's a really good question, uh, Hillary. Um, so magnesium, uh, the recommended daily intake uh, is suggested uh, to be four, uh, 420 milligrams, 420 milligrams on a daily basis. And that's basically just to survive as a society. Our uh, endurance community, we need uh, about 20 to 30% more magnesium in our system. Wow. So um, we, uh, we can safely say that our endurance community, we try to eat um, healthy, but I can't say that for everybody. So, um, so we really need to get about 400 milligrams in our diet just to maintain. And uh, I would suggest elevating that to closer to 500. But um, every body, every individual does have a different, uh, they have a different metabolism. We all have different metabolism. So what, how you really can, uh, fine tune what your required intake or how your body is uh, burning magnesium is to get a magnesium red blood cell test. It's called a magnesium RBC test. And that gives you a better indication and a more accurate indication of what your magnesium levels are in your body. Um, blood serum tests do not give you an accurate indication and the probability of them coming back as a normal range is very high. And that's because of the whole regulation of how your body utilizes it and it's continually taking from your muscles to put into your, uh, your vascular system to feed all the organs that require magnesium. So it's, um, it's, it's a slippery pig, if you will, um, when it comes to understanding how much you do need and to alleviate cramping. But, um, I can safely say that we, we all need more magnesium simply because of how our body utilizes it and, uh, and burns it at high rates. Um, as an aside, um, sugar and stress are uh, one of the, they are two factors in our diet that requires a lot of magnesium to compensate for those, those two um, areas of, of consumption, if you will. 
in our system. Interesting. So can you talk a little bit about the products that you have and that you offer endurance athletes at Moxie Life? Oh, absolutely. Love to. Um, so uh, with, this, uh, with this knowledge specifically about magnesium, um, and I have been researching it for over nine, nine to ten years, um, we introduced uh, Hydramag. Um, it's a pomegranate-flavored uh, beverage, um, and it's a powdered beverage, and we offer it in 30-serving and stick-pack forms. And uh, it is uh, beet juice and stevia sweetened. Um, stevia is uh, located, we source it from South America. And for a lot of people, um, they have, um, they don't like stevia because of the aftertaste and the negative side effects. Well, truth be told with the various stevias in the marketplace, um, a majority are from China and they use solvents to uh, in their extraction process. Um, our stevia does not involve solvents in our in the extraction process, so you don't uh, derive the negative effects. But some people just don't like stevia, the taste or whatever. But that 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 does have a lot to do with the extraction process. Um, as, as far as uh, as far as the other uh, attributes with Hydromag specifically, which is our um, magnesium drink, hence the mag, um, you, you get uh, 150 milligrams of magnesium per serving. So um, we beta tested triathletes using this specific magnesium form, which is a, um, it's a fully reacted uh, chelate magnesium. It's a patented uh, chelate. It's a hypoallergenic chelate. And uh, what chelate means is uh, we have attached amino acids to the magnesium, which the body recognizes uh, up to five to six times higher than your conventional magnesium oxides or citrates or lactates or sulfates. Um, so we, we do know that it has higher absorption and it doesn't cause the GI issues, which a majority of magnesiums will, such as oxides. Um, so that's um, that's pretty much it for our Hydromag in a nutshell. Um, all of our products uh, we do include uh, Phytolite, which is a um, it's our multivitamin electrolyte beverage, and it's a powdered drink available in 30 serving and stick packs. And uh, that is uh, the most comprehensive and nutrient dense. Um, electrolyte replacement available currently on the market. I can safely say that because of my history and knowledge of the ingredient industry and knowing what everybody else in our sports nutrition arena has to offer. Um, this is uh, by far um, much better for the metabolic processes because we this multivitamin is derived from fruits and vegetables, and we burn vitamins as well as electrolytes while we're exercising. So you need to replenish those. And um, most of the products on the marketplace have synthetic vitamins, which your body actually needs to go through a process to break those down and extract the, uh, the active component of a synthetic vitamin versus using the phytolite, your body just absorbs it. It doesn't have to break anything down. It doesn't have to extract the synthetic variation of the vitamin, um, which causes to the synthetic vitamins, they, it's an overload on your liver, basically, because it does have to go through a cleansing process. So um, the phytolite is, is one of the purest, cleanest uh, electrolyte uh, nutrient-dense electrolytes on the market, um, which also includes a nutrient called uh, vitacholine. And uh, we're seeing a lot, a lot of studies on how vitacholine or choline um, helps with, uh, with the whole metabolic process in our system. It's, uh, it's actually an ultra-hydrating um, product due to 
um, the choline supporting the cell walls and the cell walls uh, allowing for fluid to um, uh, to pass through the cell walls uh, more efficiently. So, um, awesome. yeah, it's a yeah, it's it's a it's a wonderful product. So let's um, can you tell our listeners how they can get in touch with you and learn more about Moxie Life? Oh, absolutely. Um, feel free to research our website, which is uh, www.moxielife.com. Uh, I'm available at info at moxielife.com. Um, you can reach out and call. Uh, our number is uh, 602 529 8775. So those would be the three three areas where you can reach out. Awesome. Well, thank you. Today I've been talking with Teresa Sequist of Moxie Life, and that's spelled M-O-X-I-L-I-F-E. Thank you, Teresa, so much for being on the show. I also want to thank our sponsors, the Russo Law Group, MetPro, Strain Print, and Fortune I'll Find Jewelry. And last but not least, I want to thank you, our listeners, for tuning in. If you want more information on this show or any other show, visit our website at hillarytopperonair.com, or you can find us on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, MixCloud, you name it, we're out there. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time.